Hello everyone, welcome back to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead with me, Altrius, your host. Yesterday, well, okay, not yesterday. In the last episode, we had a little look around for tools. We didn't find very many of them, but we did find a few other stuff. I've moved things out of my vehicle, which I filled with what we could find, and I've just put them variously around the place. I've obviously got my uh, books over here in the bookshelf. You know, I've put the teapot here on the counter where teapots belong various things in the bin just because civilization has come to an end doesn't mean we have to be uncivilized we could at least try and keep a modicum of a pleasant and clean household if we have to have a household at all if we have to be the only one left alive in this hellacious landscape we might as well make the best of it and not just let ourselves and our our entire existence fall to ruin what i am going to do here is get rid of this note which says auto goes down not interested in that. What I am interested in is uh, let's have um, H home base. This is going to be our home base for now. I don't really like it, um, and obviously I'm not sponsored by home base in this video. Thank, thank you for <laughs> asking. Um, I'm calling it that because for now this is going to be our home base, but I don't want it to remain that if I can avoid it because it's in a horrible place um, and. Now, that being said, if we can find the tools that we are really, really after, there is a chance that we could make this a little bit of a better base than it currently is. But for now, it's not the grandest of of grand. So I'm going to have another wonder. I don't really have a plan for this episode except just keep looking. Just keep looking for the tools that we so desperately need. I'm not sure if we've actually uh, explorated this house yet. I think we might have. I don't know if we've been inside though, because none of the windows appears to be broken. The door is locked. We so we did discuss the idea that we might want to try. And, we, we do want to create a crowbar if we can manage it. This door's open. Does that mean I've looted this place? Let's just get everything. Uh, surrounding area and grab the vehicle and just move it. Uh, light powder will eventually be useful. Wasn't there a zombie in here? Maybe we've been here before, but not as this character. That would make sense. I'm going to take everything that I can right now. Um, because why not, uh, really, is the question here. Because everything, I'm sure, will be of some use at some point to me. Maybe we should close this door. <laughs> That's a good... Now it's civilization. What is this? A golf bag. A bag full of golf. Maybe it's a bag made of golf. Internal combustion fundamentals. That could be something that we're going to be extremely interested in reading. Um, reasonably quickly. I'm going to take these, even though this is not Fallout 4, and I cannot just turn this glass into, <laughs> you know, a, a window because it has the property of being glass. Um, we do have to use things sensibly in this game because it, it does go for a certain modicum of realism, even though the existence of zombies, some might say, does not necessarily constitute realism in, in the traditional sense of things that exist. I might as well just take it all. Who needs two waffle irons? Who are you people? Uh, we might have been in here because this door was open. I do remember going in here, maybe? Of course, um, I suppose anything that was broken by my original character would probably still be broken. So I don't think it recreates the world. I remember being in here because this person had modern riflemen and we weren't interested in that because we wanted to not die. Uh, I'm going to close this window, this door. Yes, door. And see if there's a back gate. Just so we can leave more easily. Of course there's no back gate. Can is 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 this gate? Are you gate? You are gate. Well done, gate. That house was okay. Let us mark it as explored. I don't know if my OBS is as laggy as I think it is. So I apologize if this episode is really weird. Um but there's a, a noticeable like quarter to half second delay on things I do in OBS and the uh, sorry things I do in the game and uh, uh, and it being reflected on OBS so if there's a delay in this I do apologize I will watch afterwards and see if there's anything wrong with it and I'll try and fix it for the next episode if that has happened uh, but uh, all I can do for now is just just deal with it okay we're all we're all working together here uh, this is a pileup <laughs> it has enough wheels though so this car is considered part of this smash here, but that, uh, I think that's, it says pilot, but of course this 
is a pilot. This car, you note, is, does not have any of the uh, other parts of the uh, of the pileup. So it's actually a separate vehicle, even though it's called the same thing. And it's possible that we could uh, drive this. So I'm going to try to remember the, yeah, the engine doesn't work, but for, uh, look. Far be it from me to suggest that we should not, if we get that car working, continue to call it the pilot. Have we explored this? It says it goes... It knows it goes down. Yeah, that's what she said. By the way, you want to be really careful walking around swamps, which I think currently we are not doing. But one tile to the south, swamp. See, it says so here. You can see that? Yes, you can see that. Um, well, that's interesting. This cursor is moving in time. I'm so confused. As I move my cursor, this is recording in uh, at the same time, whereas the effects that it's ha having on the, on the, oh my goodness, I don't understand. Anyway, swamp. Sinkholes can open up in swamps if you walk around swamps, so I don't recommend it. I'm going to have another look in here because we have our shopping cart to collide with walls, but more importantly, we have it to obviously carry stuff away with us, so we're going to want to do that. Gather as much stuff as we can that's made of clean cloth. Um, nothing in there. Just so that we have the opportunity to uh, repair our clothing in future, as is going to be necessary, because if things keep hitting us, which they quite rudely continue to do, we're going to keep damaging our stuff. Is this the one that had the lava in the basement? Yes. So let's um, just go... <laughs> I'm just going to leave that. I remember that we have visited that one in with this character because um, because that happened. Also, this was the character that I was trying to use the lava to warm up my uh, warm up my water with, and then I realised it was causing me a great deal of discomfort because I was burning alive. What I'm going to do here? Here's a trick. I'm going to activate my Flashlight? Headlamp. Oh, I'm going to use the letter to do that. Now, here's the thing you have to remember about this game. I'm not doing anything, even though it looks like it's snowing, which it is. In terms of the game, no time is passing right now. So I have instantaneously turned on my flashlight, and now I've turned it off again, which has given me a brief glimpse of the surroundings. Obviously, if I now start moving, that's in the dark, so it might be changing. There might be monsters wandering around into the area that I've just uh, highlighted, but I've had a brief opportunity to see what's around me, so I've got some idea of what's going on, but nothing is now walking towards my uh, flashlight because it's not switched on anymore. This is new, by the way. All of this never used to exist in the last time I played the game, so that's really cool. Um, this is a truck, but it doesn't have enough wheels. Let's look down here. Wheels lack. So it does not have enough wheels to move. It actually has enough wheels, but you can see that they're grey, which means they're broken. Um, most damage is a dashboard, which I'm not sure I care about. But in many cases, just because that's the most damaged thing doesn't mean that the uh, engine, for example, this is almost completely broken. That's unlikely to work as well. So, but it would be a nice thing to have... Um, fixed. Also, I'm going to have a look. Just something's flashing. That's really freaky. You know when out the corner of your eye you see something in your room which is probably perfectly normal, like an LED flickers, and you go, huh, well, what's that? And I don't know what it is. One glass bottle of vodka cold. I would be very surprised if it was cold enough to freeze vodka, so I'm glad to learn that, in fact, that vodka is not frozen, just cold. I will also drop it in that direction. What I did there, for people who are playing along at home, Capital D, you have to select a direction and then you will drop things in that direction. It's smart enough that if you drop things onto where you have a vehicle, you'll put it in the vehicle, as noted. It won't just dump it on the floor, although you can just dump it on the floor if you want to by making use of the advanced inventory, which I normally do anyway. So have a look at this vehicle. Enough wheels, it's dented. Most damage is the security system, which means we might not be able to turn it on. The security system basically means the ignition. Uh, therefore, if the security system is completely broken, it's unlikely that you'll be able to turn the key, even if there is one. And often there is a key. I don't write 
I don't write good know why it might be that there is a uh, a key in every car. Not every car does have keys, but the majority of them do. This engine is good though. 2.5 liter inline four engine, which uh, uses petrol rather than diesel. So if we learn enough about vehicles, we could probably pull the engine out of here. That being said, you need you need tools to do that. It's not that easy. This is a police car, yeah. Not enough wheels. If we can find a jack, normally a bottle jack is what we use because they seem to be reasonably common. Uh, we can lift up the car, take the wheels off. Uh, stop grabbing! I told you to stop. Thought I did anyway. Yeah, the engine doesn't start. Although you see the little feet that appeared over here briefly, it renders them as feet, but they're not always feet. Um, they they can be. It's any noise, basically. It doesn't mean that it was feet that you, you heard. It just means there is a noise here. So I've been flashing my flashlight, which is why it's called that, to, to do that little trick I mentioned about having a glimpse of what's around. And now, ooh. This is interesting. Because if we go this way now, we can open this door. What is this? It's an open wood door with peephole. It almost sounds rude. So we can now go and get our trolley and bring it inside. I don't know why that window was broken, but it was cleaned out. It rarely happens if zombies do it. I'll be quite honest with you. Um, I have explained before, incidentally, that you can press Shift G to grab in a direction and Shift G to release it, which is how I'm grabbing this trolley. It's the same mechanism, or at least, well, I'll probably call it the same mechanism, to grab a bookshelf as I did. Uh, there's plenty of stuff here, which is nice. And try and move it around. If you're not strong enough, you won't be able to. But luckily I was. That's a back door. Interesting. I'm going to have to grab this cupboard. Try and move it. Cannot grab the cupboard. Which basically means we won't be able to get the shopping cart in here. Solder will come in useful at some point. but It is not this day, as they say. And most of these I'll probably just be salvaging for um, bits. Oh, I can get it. Uh, yeah, I can get the shopping cart in this room through the other door, which is a very strange layout of house. If, by the way, you see something happen and you don't understand why I did it, like, for example, what do you want to yell? I've pressed the wrong button. The <laughs> I didn't actually yell. I just pressed escape because I didn't want to do that. But I, you'd be forgiven for thinking that I'm just doing things at random just to troll and annoy you. I can I can see that. I can also see the uh, appeal of doing that, so don't necessarily write it off as an option just yet, but in the general case. I can't go up here because I want to go down. What I do tend to mistake is the, the it's the two arrow keys on dot and comma, the, the pointy brackets for up and down, but I always get them the wrong way around. Oh my goodness. These are shady zombies, which are actually weaker with the light on. I'm very thirsty though, so I'm going to turn the light off, close this door and go back up, and I'm going to have something to eat. My water's frozen. That's annoying. Um, I'm realizing what you're seeing. You're seeing the uh, screen as it was just before I made the change. Because on your screen, this is highlighted. But on my screen, this is highlighted. And this is a bug that happens in the menu in certain situations as well. In that you don't see... It doesn't redraw. Let me try doing this. This. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Have we fixed it? We have. Well, I apologise for that um, entire episode so far being the way it was. But we fixed it. That's the important thing. So I'm very thirsty, which means my speed is low. I think I might be able to um, fight these losers using running around. and Yes, I'm just going to turn safe mode off. That's the exclamation mark, by the way. I'm just going to run around and let them sort of walk over this table and try and get me. Come at me, bro. Because if I get them like here, right, I can stab this one. 
I do appreciate the stereo effect there, actually. That's really cool. And as long as you sort of don't get cocky with the number of hits you think you can make on the zombie. Oh, I'm running again. That's really annoying. I apologize. Um, before they uh, step off the table again. Should be all right. So let's, um, let's run around. I I'm going to have to keep running quite a lot, I'm afraid, which means the, uh, the noise that you're hearing is not going to go away, but I promise you it's louder in my ear than it is in yours. Because I've turned you down. But me, me, I'm still I. Basically what I'm doing here is hoping for the best when it comes to the uh, ability of these things to fight in the light, which is, they have poor ability to fight in the light. We, I know this, which is why I'm doing it this way. Oh, you got me anyway. And I keep breaking my pool table, so I was going to, you know, move in here and play with my mates, you know. Right, that was one down. The difficulty in this specific situation is that we can't um, really target select very well. If we spent... Okay, let me explain. I'm lazy. Because I'm a programmer. So I'm not target selecting because I don't want to. I could. If I did this, you can see up here is the apparent ouchiness of the zombie. I'm just going to turn this down because it's bugging me. Hopefully that's all right for you. It's still loud for me. Um, this is your apparent ouchiness of the zombie, and this is whether they can see you, and this is the one I'm looking at, which corresponds to this targeting reticle here, which means if I press up and down now, I will change the volume of the desktop audio because OBS is still highlighted, but if I do it having highlighted this... So I can see that this one and this one are the two worst damaged, and I want to attack them, and then this one can wait. If I wanted to be completely... Um, you know, amazing about it. I would do that on every turn. I would look for the one that was most likely to hurt me. Uh, sorry, most likely to take a bunch of damage. Target that one. And then move on to the next one and just keep running around. But instead, I'm just going to take five minutes to shut the heck up. And then I'm going to just quick butcher everything. By the way, when you do a butchery, apart from the fact that it takes it right out of you and you have to wait five minutes each time. I'm also going to turn my uh, flashlight off so I don't run out of battery. Uh, it does slowly level your survival. It uses survival to do butchery, I believe. We'll double check by coming back to this screen in a minute. 37%. Shift B to butcher, shady zombie, quick butchery, at symbol, 40%. So it gave us actually quite a decent amount. Um, the reason that's I'm walking, yes. The reason that's uh, important is because if, if you remember, when we did that with our... Um, with running around looking for the, 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 the bushes in the ground and just picking those, it was horrible. <laughs> you know, it took absolutely ages. Um, once we got up to level one, we had really no opportunity to do any better. So I'm going to turn this on do a quick look around. What I'm doing here is I'm pressing tab, now it says monsters. Uh, I'm pressing tab there because if I put this on monsters, in fact by default it will look for monsters. Oh no, it won't. I don't want to look for monsters. Just realize what I did wrong. I don't want to look for monsters, I want to look in here for corpse. In fact I can press slash and type corpse. If there are anything left, any things, if there are any corpses left to butcher, that would find them. There aren't, which means I don't need to worry about it, which means I can start you know, looking around. I am warm. I'm not sure why. Hopefully because it's warm down here. If it's warm down here, these might start defrosting, which would be grand because I would like them to. Um, obviously, I don't have my um, my vehicle with me anymore, so I'm going to have to pick things up into my inventory, which has limited volume, but currently I'm using basically none of it, so I can carry quite a lot right now. Um, I'm going to, so let's do so. I will take the nails. I don't know if I should carry the 2 by 4s They, I think this is the total volume of all four. Because yeah, one is 1.5 litres. So I can't carry all of them, but it's nice to have them, because I can start using them to board up um, 25 rags, really. 
start using them to board up windows and stuff once we get a hammer. We do have a rock that we can use to hammer things, so it's entirely possible that we can start, you know, putting, covering the windows in our base, which is something we really want to start doing. Um, zombies will track you in many ways, for they are wily, evil zombies, uh, one of which is by your smell. It's not fun. We don't, we don't like that. Um, because I, I quite like to think that I don't smell, but ask a dog that and it will disagree, you know? Dogs dogs have got a much stronger sense of smell than we do, and apparently so do blooming zombies. So you want to avoid them detecting you in every way possible, uh, one of which is by your smell, so you want to make sure that you, they can't smell you on the other side of windows and things like that. So cover up your windows. Curtains are good for that. Um, where do those other rags go, by the way? Well, that was... what? Just strength of wood. Um, I don't know where these rags came from. No. Move all them. Can I hold one? Then carry one. This would this would be where it would be great to be able to <laughs> bump a trolley down the stairs. It's, I don't want to grab it, actually. I want to drop things into it. Thank you. You know what? We should drink this lemonade whilst it's still alive. Lemon, lemon, lemonade. Drink. Now we're just thirsty. See, up here it says warm falling. That means it's cold up here, right? Which means that all we've done is change our environment. If we go down here, we're warm and it's not falling. Um, we should be able to loosen. We're not wearing a scarf, so we can't loosen it. Uh, which means that it's warm enough down here in theory for our... Can't carry all of that. Carry most of that though. If you press 23 and then an arrow, okay, 22 and then an arrow, yeah. Um, that's how you pick up some of those. I'll explain all the picking up mechanics I'm doing in a minute. I just didn't grab instead of drop again because I'm not paying attention. Um, because it's warm down here, I'm hoping our water will defrost itself slowly. I don't know how long it will take to do that, unfortunately, so maybe that's not going to happen. So if you stand on the tile and press comma, that's the standard pickup thing over here. These are things that are underneath you. You press up and down to pick them, and then right will select it, and then left will deselect it. Right and left, right, on and off. That's not always true. Sometimes right will toggle it, and left will switch columns if there are multiple columns in the window that you're looking at. A little bit inconsistent. I wish they didn't do that. That's okay. Another thing you can do is press a number, and then right, and then you're going to pick up one of them. I press one. Uh, if I do two and things, so I, I press two and right, and it knows that's all of them, so it's just uh, put the plus there. So that way, if you're not using the uh, advanced inventory screen, you can still somewhat pick up many things or a specific number of things without too much faffing around. I keep doing these the wrong way. We don't want any of this tainted meat. I'm also going to just turn this light on quickly, just in case there was a shady zombie uh, hanging out in the toilet. Incidentally, these are refrigerators. That wasn't what I was going to say. There's nothing behind it. Um, hang on. Processing. In five, four. 99% process, I'm going to remember what I said. Uh, yeah, don't drink the water out of the toilet. <laughs> it's bad for you. Interestingly, you can just drag that through there, even though there's no room for it. So let's mark this as explored, and then just keep going. We're finding some decent amount of stuff, but we're not really finding what we came to find, which is tree, trees, no. Tools. We need tools. Even if we could find something like a, a lock pick, you know. Hello, shady zombie. I'm going to run away now if it's all the same to you. I want to activate my headlight, but also I don't want things to follow me. So I'm just going to try and fight this thing here. I'm let go of the trolley. It's pretty hard to fight when you've got one hand on a shopping cart. So I'm just going to run away. I'm hoping that I can kite it onto the fence like this, you see. Another thing you can do is just jump over the fence yourself. It will slow you down, but like, who cares? Where did it go? There it is. It's right underneath me. 
So look, uh, I'll just show you now. If I press Shift V to look for everything, it says bruised shady zombie corpse. These are all the items. Uh, it's still got the filter on, although it doesn't tell you anywhere. <laughs> okay, remember that. You can press Shift R to reset. Was it just smaller? Doesn't matter. Um, to to reset the filter. That's everything that I can currently see in my vicinity. If I type slash corpse, you will almost always, I believe, find things that are corpses. I think it's always called a corpse, which means you can do this search. So now I want to butcher that and then uh, wait a few minutes, which is uh, pipe. Pipe is next to Z on my keyboard in case people from other countries are wondering. I keep zooming out by accident. And it's not you, it's me. I was going to say what we want to do is try and find uh, a... If we can't find a crowbar or make a crowbar, we'd also like to find a lockpick. Um, also easier said than done. Because having to smash these windows each time, first of all, compromises the integrity of the house itself. Because if we find a decent house, we might want to you know, live in it. <laughs> and if we have to smash the window of every house we go into, apart from the fact it attracts attention, we also then have a big hole in the house. I'm hoping there's nothing around to have heard that, but I can't be sure. So I'm just going to get inside quick, shut the door, and uh, hope that nothing... Uh, that was... See, this, this confuses me often. It says, surrounding me, wow, look at all that stuff. It's because this no longer says it's my dragged vehicle. This is all that's around me, really. I just have a lot of stuff in my vehicle. So it's including the vehicle in that... Um, a summary of everything nearby me. Plenty of stuff here, that's really nice. Plenty of things to practice our um, sewing with. And that was batteries. I was hoping that was thread, but I guess it didn't look like thread, so file. That's a file in the business sense. Peacoat? What the heck is a peacoat? A heavy wool coat, cumbersome but warm and with deep pockets. I mean, we don't need these things because we are currently comfortable and it's really, really cold. Uh, can we eat anything? Let's have this ale. How much did we like that? 42. That was really good for our morale. When you've got high morale, that's a good time to try reading stuff. Also, we should pay attention to the time of day. Eventually, we'll be thirsty, but we're, we're a night owl right now because we need that um, for raiding purposes. Eventually, we'll be happy to go out during the day without worrying too much about being ganked by every single monster that's ever been invented by man uh, or indeed that already existed and man just happened to learn about through nefarious means which I choose to believe is n not the case and this is fiction and you don't know any better okay you cannot say otherwise I choose to believe this is fiction and I suggest you choose the same. What's Crane's toilet room? You have to lock both of them. I have actually been in places where you have two um, doors to uh, what you would normally assume is a private room. And you have to lock them both or people you know, sneak in. I cannot close. I didn't mean to close it. I meant to open it. Just get everything. Even if it seems essentially useless you never know what you can melt down or you know salvage or attach to a gun or something like that you know imagine how formidable I'll come in again imagine how formidable it would be to uh, have a bayonet made of a butter knife I think you would be foolish to come up against such a fearsomely armed human Humans are nothing if not resourceful, which I guess often means that they are basically nothing, but let's not be too rude about ourselves. <laughs> There's plenty of food, so all we really need is to go home and cook it, or at least, you know, warm it. I'm very glad that this uh, shopping basket is so, uh, shopping trolley is so capacious, because we are just gathering everything, none of which is kind of really what I wanted, but... You know, we're going to be a bit of a pack rat very early on at least, because that's going to be 
to our advantage. If we can gather as much stuff as we possibly can, especially now that it's winter, it means that we only defrost stuff when we want to eat it. Which honestly, even though it was really kind of difficult to get to the stage where we could defrost it, now that we are at that stage, everything's frozen. We don't need to worry about it perishing until the summer comes, or at least the spring, and once the spring or summer has arrived, we may have the opportunity to start growing food and we'll have collected so much water by then because we, we will have found things because, oh, blimey, there's so much to do. Right, let's talk about stuff. I've got several copies of Under the Hood as well, which is not that useful, but, you know. This could be our home base, for example, because we managed to get into here without breaking anything. The, the back door was open because it's a glass door, which apparently don't lock. My glass doors lock. And they're good solid safety glass. So I don't know what you Americans are playing at. Also, there's a secret room. Yes. Haha. <laughs> uh, ungrab it. Good. It's got a gun in it. A Glock 19. Ah, see. Pay attention to the shape of things because sometimes people, quote unquote, the implication is that in a law sense, the people who fled the house have hidden uh, weaponry and stuff here and there. So, so do pay attention to that because you may find some very good for you. We need to head back. We don't need to, actually. Was there, just forgive me for forgetting already, was there a way by which we can just um, intentionally defrost our water, intentionally uh, thaw out our water. I don't know if there was. I'm going to apply my campfire drill. This is where you have to be careful to press the right button. I'm going to press 2, which is down, <laughs> because, <laughs> because. Uh, let's let go of our trolley and go and get a chair. Oh, it's getting to be daytime, which is possibly not great for us on account of simply that. Um, things are going to be able to see us possibly through this uh, glass door. Now it does. The game does model light quite well, which is to say that if you're in a dark place on the other side of uh, glass, the glass is going to be blocking the light, blocking visibility into the house, and improving visibility out of the house. So basically light things on the other side of glass are easier to see than dark things on the other side of glass. However, we are sat right next to a fire, which for the purposes of the game is not sufficiently contained in the oven to not be casting light. So things will be able to see us through the glass, whether we want it or not. We can make, uh, in uh, of course, American parlance, apple cider is just apple juice. It's soft cider. It hasn't got alcohol in it. We can mix these alcohols together um, but I don't know if we should. We can cook a burrito, which is nice. Fancy. These are all, um, all these, these drinks are, oops, um, alcoholic. <laughs> I'm trying to, there we go. I, I get confused by which things move the tabs. This one that I'm moving here is the arrow keys, and then this one up here is tab and shift tab, which is, I mean, in the browser it's control tab, right? So it's not even what I expect. We can create sweet water, which means we can probably just drink our water. No, we can't. Can we just defrost? I don't know. I don't see a way of like purposely defrosting a frying pan. Ah, there we go. We can heat it up in the frying pan. Let's do that. Clean water is best served cold. Heat beyond defrosting, no. We will eat our clean water. That got us from very thirsty to no thirsty. So what I'm also going to do is apply the frying pan. This is why you, I always keep certain things in the trolley, because this frying pan is in that trolley. I can use it because it's nearby me. Um, we might as well defrost... Oops. 
the things that will perish when they unfreeze don't matter as much as the things that are going to perish. I guess everything's frozen, so what do we want? Meat sandwiches, I suppose. I don't know if it will um, affect us because normally in real life, if you heat up a hot meat sandwich, nice. Um, if you heat up a meat sandwich, for example, from frozen, and then let it defrost, and then uh, sorry, and then let it freeze, you can't heat it up again, or you will die of horrible and painful death. Or, or something along those lines. So you really shouldn't do that. I don't know if the game models that. I don't know if you're going to be unwell uh, if you keep freezing and reheating things. I'm going to ch choose to believe that is not the case. I've just realised this is a 35 minute episode. I hope that you've enjoyed it. We're going to call it there. We have found a new base, maybe. We can at least start... I mean, one... Oh, gosh. Well, first of all, the zombies are here. These things, by the way, this is where we think the zombie horde is. So this is basically a spawn point for zombies. Whenever this is going on, we kind of want to keep away from it. What I was going to say is we can start to slowly... Is that sitting moves down? No, it doesn't. Um, first of all, explore these places. But if we just leave things here and there, like... Well, in this case, we've got an oven, so it doesn't matter. As long as we keep stuff with us to light fires, uh, to cook food and things like that, we can keep bringing stuff back to our actual home base, but we don't have to make it there as long as we have some food and a way to cook it in our trolley. So that's going to be the goal, is to always be able to finish your sentence before you need to sneeze and probably finish the video. Three, two, one. Nope. <coughs> Excusez-moi. If I had a mute button, I would have pressed it. <laughs> oh. oh, it feels so much better. Thank you for watching this episode. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I hope that you are as thrilled by the progress of <clears throat> Simon as I am. We are getting up there on our survival. Our, our, our basic, basically, all of our skills are really getting there. Our melee is going up really well because we've been fighting things in hand-to-hand -hand combat. But until the next episode, I hope you're enjoying the series. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Remember to leave a like and a subscribe and tell your friends about this amazing adventure that we're all embarking on. And until next time, I will see you.